In my previous video, I did the deployment of a simple Next.js app to Elastic Beanstalk. Uh, then I added a configuration that uh, enables uh, using of uh, native uh, NPM libraries, so you won't have problems in deployment. In this video, uh, I'll set up an Nginx uh, to directly serve static files. Uh, why I choose uh, to override the configuration with Nginx? Because uh, Nginx is better and faster with serving uh, static files, uh, since uh, Nginx directly calls uh, send file. And another reason is uh, we don't need to additionally burden our Node.js app. And to enable our Nginx override, I'll add another directory in dot .platform called Nginx. And in the Nginx directory, I'll add the override for our app, for serving of our app. This file already exists on the Elastic Beanstalk. We are overriding it with our configuration. Uh, let's see what we can add uh, as uh, static to Nginx. Everything added in the underscore next static can be served uh, behind Nginx. And uh, Favicon can be served behind Nginx. By default, your Nginx configuration will look like this. And we are going to add uh, two directives uh, to serve a uh, favicon and to serve next static folder. Next static folder is located in this directory. And everything from this directory will be served by send file command. There's also a favicon location and alias for it is similar to this one. And same commands apply. Now that we have added configuration for serving via send file, I can package the app again. And I'll create a new deployment. Now when I refresh my app, it will serve static files directly with send file command. I want to be double sure that the Nginx settings are applied, so I SSH to my instance, and this is located in the usual uh, location of Nginx. Let's see how the application conf looks like. And you can see our settings are applied here, so whenever you request anything from this folder or favicon, it will not call a Node.js app, it will call a send file directive.